As Election Day gets closer, we've received a number of questions about political ads airing on 13 News Now. Yeah, we've been asked why we air commercials that may have false or misleading claims. And this week in particular, we've received a number of calls about an ad for Constitution Party presidential candidate Randall Terry. Marta Berglund has been fielding those questions and has answers. Well, for starters, that Randall Terry advertisement does have some very graphic images. It was purchased nationally, so it's airing on ABC stations across the country. The short answer to viewer questions about why TV stations air certain political ads is we don't have a choice. Federal law bans broadcast stations from turning away or censoring ads submitted by legally qualified candidates. There have been movements from third party groups to pass something called the Honest Ads Act, which would kind of provide some oversight. Dr. Leslie Coggle with Virginia Wesleyan University specializes in political communication and misinformation. She says oversight of political campaign messaging would come with challenges. I think there's real hesitancy to do that because in a way, I don't know if I'd want TV stations to have to adjudicate whether or not something is true or false particularly because oftentimes in candidate ads, there are degrees of falsehood. There are times when TV stations can say no. Broadcast companies have the power to turn down third-party ads, such as those from political action committees. These groups function as any other private business purchasing airtime and are subject to a station's discretion. Dr. Coggle says many of these regulations are rooted in the Constitution. The hesitancy to pass things like the Honest Ads Act have really relied a lot on people's concerns about First Amendment speech and the complications that come with enforcement. And again, because that Randall Terry commercial comes directly from his campaign, it's bought through ABC, it's airing on national programming. We are federally required to air it. But if that exact commercial came from a political action group, our station would have a say in whether or not it could air. All right, Marta, thank you. And we will continue to verify political ads as Election Day gets closer. As always, if you have a question you want us to answer, email verify at 13newsnow.com.